Hi everyone. So we are starting. Mm -hmm. Some people are joining us right now and we will join the meeting. Sound is good. Okay, before we start, let's uh, check sound and video. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see that it, it's good. You're right. It's good. All good here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The video quality. Yes, we using another platform than usually, so the video also must be better. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So, uh, I will uh, accept new uh, participants from time to time. Okay. If it's good, okay, let's start our webinar. Nice to see you today. Nice to see you. Um, please type, how do you feel? How are you doing today? How is your mood? Uh -huh, feeling great. I hope that uh, you are doing great uh, in spite of uh, COVID and etc. and this stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I hope also that uh, on these weekends, you, you're gonna practice a lot. You're gonna practice uh, uh, for phase, to get into phase. Okay, uh, today uh, we, we're gonna talk about sleep quality, about motivation, how to use it in order to uh, make your deferred method more effective. Quite, uh, quite important things, uh, I think, because uh, Important topic, yes, really. And I, in fact, I tried a lot of uh, different types of sleep duration, sleep uh, type, deprivation of sleep in my life, and I draw some conclusions according it. But before we start, <laughs> first thing and the main thing, I want to thank you all to thank you all for supporting Project Elijah because uh, uh, taking part in experiments and supporting financially, you are making research possible, you're making research real. And I hope that uh, experiments from Elijah Project uh, add some motivation to your practice because you, not just have some experiments, uh, you are not just having some experience in your practice, but you know that all your reports, every your report um, is available input to the research. And when I feel stuck, I go to Elijah. <laughs> it works both ways. Okay, N nice, to, nice to know it. I'm glad to know it. The face t-shirt, thank you. <laughs> Some merch. And I hope that um, you will keep, keep on practicing in spite of uh, any not good news about uh, situation in the world, you know. And I hope that practice for you uh, will be going on and going on and you will uh, use this time effectively to make your practice uh, better. Please type, um, do you have some positive, uh, positive changes uh, nowadays in your practice or you have some stuck, some poses? Or maybe you use this time in this quarantine period um, to fix 
your practice. Okay, I'm more able to sleep longer at the moment I stuck. Uh -huh. So today we will talk about what, um, what is this talk about uh, and how to use this period of uh, um, quarantine, yes, how to use this period effectively to make your uh, sleep quality uh, increase to make your deferred method better. And I will explain you um, why sometimes techniques, uh, why sometimes the techniques uh, don't work uh, so effective uh, as you want them to. So, for example, you do all the techniques uh, with the needed automatis, with necessary uh, will, intention, and you have plan, but something goes wrong. Or you even, or you even don't remember about making attempts. Uh, please start pluses and pluses if you are familiar, uh, familiar with such situation. When you have right period of your previous sleep, when you have right, uh, very exact, <laughs> your break in deferred method. And techniques automatically, uh, okay, pluses. I also, I also familiar to this situation. That's why I'm talking about this today because I think that uh, sleep quality is one of the most, um, one of the most components of uh, your practice, face practice. Of course, if we are talking about uh, some regular and stable practice and i think that all of us all of us practitioners uh want to have regular practice so we don't need uh some lucid dreaming or out of bed experience from time to time it, it's not enough it's not enough mm -hmm. so um I think that you are keeping on practicing in spite of any stress nowadays and you use this time effectively. You know, uh, today uh, we have some var variants of what to do. For example, uh, first variant, we can uh, use our free time, yes, on quarantine uh, to watch constantly to watch some uh, videos, talk shows, and etc. Uh, to chat constantly uh, social, in social networks. But another way is to use this time effectively. For example, to get some courses, to uh, learn some new information, to make your practice more effective, or to think about uh, many things in your life and th this is the better the more positive way also uh, if, if you if you are reading some news every day i hope that uh, you will decrease <laughs> the stream of this news because it's also uh, pluses and it also pluses and pluses stress to our life. Um, of course, we, we need to stay tuned and uh, keep uh, take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And also, this period we can use uh, in both ways. For example, we can fall asleep whenever we want for example if we are in self uh, isolation right now but uh, another way we can um, improve we can improve our sleep schedule that is more effective and i hope that uh, today's webinar will help you to uh, fix your 
sleep quality and your face practice. So let's start with, let, let us start with uh, motivation. I think that uh, this is one of three components of your regular face practice. The first component, of course, motivation. You need to have some plan to be uh, inspired to uh, do practice because if you don't need enough motivation, you don't have enough energy for, for some uh, action. And the second, the second is sleep quality. And the third, and the third, the last one is techniques. So let's start with. Mm -hmm. On this presentation, you can see motivation. And this scheme, uh, you know, this circle uh, right almost in the center of uh, the page is getting into phase moment. Of course, we need to reach this moment. We need uh, to reach some right moment to get into phase, to make attempts uh, effectively, to do techniques and so on. But if we have aim just uh, only to get into phase, only to make these uh, attempts. It's good, it's good, it's good for, uh, for beginning, just for beginning. But if you want to uh, reach some qualitative uh, phase experience and more chances, even more chances to uh, find yourself in lucid dreaming or separate from your body. You need to think and th think thoroughly about time, uh, about time inside the phase. And what does it mean? It means that uh, you should have uh, some inspiring plan. And Inspiring plan means that you are emotionally, emotionally involved in it. It's not just neutral things. Of course, neutral things will work for some time, but uh, in, the, in the core of situation, you need to have some emotional, um, emotional stuff. For example, um, for example, uh, I have, I have, uh, have flights uh, almost every night in lucid dreaming, in, in every lucid dream and out of body experience. And that was exciting for me. But um, some moment I felt that, oh, it's okay. Yes, I'm flying. I'm flying <laughs> in out of body experience. Please write if you have uh, the same experience. When the flight, in phase is, is quite normal, is quite normal and regular thing. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> glasses, okay, quite regular and normal thing, but our motivation is based on something that inside ourselves. For example, um, if we have some dream, even uh, irre unlogically thought or an unlogical dream, whether it is to have uh, your spaceship <laughs> and fly in it in space or to or to become, for example, Superman, superhero in phase. This is uh, more effective motivation than just uh, to have some regular thing in it, you know? And this motivation will help you to get into phase with more chances. Mm -hmm. 
please write. If you have some, um, some dreams uh, in your life, for example, you can uh, remember some dreams from your childhood. If you want, uh, please type it, share it. Uh, you, you may inspire us to do this uh, in faith practice. Mm -hmm. When we have lack of motivation, for example, uh, you know, if we are pointed, pointed on this circle, on this getting into phase moment, we have two variants, two variants of situation. One variant, we uh, overrate, overrate uh, just the moment to separate. Overrate it, we feel excited, we even feel um, overwhelmed and so on. And it um, misleads us in the process. Mm -hmm. Please write or send pluses if you are familiar to this situation. When you have some overrated expectations from the moment of getting into phase, because getting into phase is just the only thing that motivates you. Mm -hmm. So I see your pluses. Yes, yes, it, it's quite it's quite common common and uh, often thing. Mm -hmm. But the second variant, uh, it's just the lack of. Um, motivation you know uh, you can you can't even believe how many times i uh, meet this uh, in my practice even and on my in my students practice when uh, they ha they have lack of motivation and in this case um, the lack of motivation is leading to leading you to fall in asleep or fall in asleep uh, fast uh, or and without making attempts or without even remembering to make an attempt so it's not good to either and that is why i hope that now you will uh decide what is your plan? What is your truly um, exact plan for your phase practice? Except, of course, of getting into phase. Because this getting into phase moment um, must be something natural for your practice. It's just natural thing that is happening uh, every time upon awakening or for upon falling asleep or during dream. So it's normal. Think about something uh, further. I really pray I can overcome my challenges thoughtful this <laughs> throughout this webinar. Uh -huh. I hope so. Uh -huh. I just get so overrated about face practice that when I try, I can't go back to sleep. Yes, this is the effect of this operation during the first method, of course. And it's not uh, useful for us, for regular practice, for stable practice, because we need some strict plan. But this plan um, doesn't need uh, to come from our, from our logic, logical brain, logical side of our personality, because uh, our brain is a, such a thing that we need to, uh, to get, uh, to explain, to explain to you why do we need this experience? Why do we need to do this action? For example, why do we need to do sport? Or why do we need to eat healthier? We need to explain to our brain because uh, evolutionally, uh, our brain is built and developed in such a way that to um, 
to spend less, uh, less energy, less efforts to reach some aim, to reach some aim. That is why we need to explain it to ourselves about bonuses we, uh, we will have and so on. And this way, uh, when we motivate uh, ourselves to get into phase and to have some plan, to have some emotionally or exciting uh, plan, we uh, explain our brain effectively. Since I'm stuck, I can no longer concentrate when I wake up before it was normal getting in the face. No movement, concentrate and enter the face every night. Stefan, every night, uh, everything is good, what you wrote, but every night is uh, not uh, good for stable practice. When you want to have some stable and regular practice, it's no good. And we will talk about uh, later after motivation. How many days do you practice phase recently? Uh, recently, for example, two weeks. In previous two weeks, I practiced four four days because uh, I didn't have enough time to sleep. I didn't have enough time and <laughs> enough quality of sleep. And we will discuss why does it happen and how to fix it. And uh, of course, I'm fixing it from time to time because we all human beings, we all have some uh, uh, routine, yes? We have some routine, sometimes uh, we don't have enough sleep because of reasons. <laughs> it's trash, yes. Sleep so quality is trash the past two weeks, but I still have been having lucid dreams. Okay, it's like sleep deprivation, you know, some sleep deprivation type of schedule and routine. But we will discuss very effective sleep for face practice. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that we need to explain uh, right now to yourself, uh, what do you want from time being in phase? For example, right now, imagine uh, that you are already in phase or lucid dreaming and Answer yourself, explain yourself. What do you prefer to do? It's not about some logical thing on, or things that, that is new for you, but think about some um, cherished dreams. Mm -hmm. My aim is to get rid of all pain in my body forever. Okay, great motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can um, promote some example <laughs> from my life. Uh, some days before, some years before, um, ago, my sister, my cousin, she asked me, uh, what do you dream about? What is your dream? And of course, I, I answered and I enumerate some things that I want to, to do in life and that is good, but I didn't share my uh, child, dr childhood dream, some fantastic, uh, irrational and logical thing for example, to travel in space, like astronaut. That's not possible right now, of course, but uh, this is a good thing <laughs> for me to get into phase. Programming, getting inside. <laughs> Maybe Star Wars Jedi stuff, yes, like this. Of course, uh, we don't have such experience in our life. 
Mm -hmm. So you need to ask yourself, you can share it here with us in order to inspire, but you, you, you can not share it. <laughs> Great idea. Okay. It's working. Especially nowadays when we are sitting home, yes, not walking so, so long, so much as we wanted, not traveling a lot as before. So <laughs> let's uh, remind ourselves about these dreams. Do you think it's possible to access your real subconscious mind through faith? I think that is possible because the face itself is uh, taking place in your subconscious uh, space, in your subconscious mind. And the face experience is such a compound from, a compound from your conscious, from one side and from another side, your subconscious mind together. And it, it, it's interesting. And it contains a, a lot of um, useful things for us for researching and using it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's go on. So I noticed such a thing that motivation, right motivation uh, can improve your practice, can add more chances, add chances uh, to your attempts to make it brighter even your experience will get brighter and realism will be increased and let's go to uh, sleep quality you know there are some methods that are based on sleep deprivation for example polyphasal sleep uh, when someone sleeping every three hours maybe you have heard about it and i tried it <laughs> sometime being student and uh, I, I didn't like it <laughs> maybe you tried it some polyphasal sleep or sleep deprivation when someone didn't sleep for night uh, or two and then fall asleep and have some bright and lucid dreaming or some phase effects like sleep paralysis uh, sleep paralysis is, is quite often thing um, in this case, but we are talking about regular practice, of course, about stable practice. And you know, on this uh, slide, you 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 see on this slide. Mm -hmm. You see on this slide. Um, regular and normal uh, regular and normal sleep cycle stages and it contains four um, four stages first stage it's quite light uh, sleep when you are just falling asleep yes second uh, stage of it it's more stable <clears throat> some chemicals uh, block in chem chemicals block in sense make it difficult to be working waking stage three deep sleep and REM sleep of course and most of lucid dreaming and our body experience take place in REM sleep And look at the second picture. You can see that uh, this percentage for normal, normal standard sleeping, sleeping routine. When stage two and three and four, this is a so-called non rem um, it's, it is so-called uh, non-REM sleep phases. Yes, it is the, the most part of our sleep. And look at the stage three. It is green on, the, on the, this picture. Stage three and four, non-REM, 
sleep. It is also called deep sleep. And we need to, to pay attention to this part of our sleep in order to have uh, less uh, stucks and pauses in our practice in order to have it regular. Stage three and four, it's very important for our organisms. Non-REM, yes, of course. And we have just 25% of REM sleep phases during the night. And it's, it's quite uh, enough for our mind to um, transform some information, from, to work with some memory that we, uh, that it contains. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go on. And usually uh, this stage three and four of non-REM sleep and so-called deep sleep, yes, we will uh, call it deep sleep because uh, this stage three and four is just uh, the part of non-REM sleep phase. And this part is very deep sleep when we even cannot um, see some images or dreams in this period. And even, and in this exact period, we have good rest, our organism having having a good rest and 45% of it, of this sleep is about one and a half and two hours per night, you know? And when you uh, don't have this uh, quantity of deep sleep, your one and a half and two hours per night, it means that you need to pay, att pay attention to what you are doing before falling asleep and what is your uh, surroundings during sleeping and what is your thinking about before sleep and so on. We will talk about it today. Mm -hmm. So let's go on. With a, uh, with a normal uh, daily routine, as we see it on this uh, slide, we have 70% of melatonin um, made in this period, 70%, but only 30% of melatonin um, our body provides uh, during a day. And when we have some shift jet lags, when we have some shift of our sleep, uh, deprivations and etc when we ruin our normal sleep we have uh, just something about 30 uh, daily normal of uh, our melatonin and it's not good for organism you know it mm -hmm. uh -huh. to sleep cycle pictures yes sleep cycle stages <laughs> here on slide. During uh, deep sleep, uh, the body normalizes it works. Uh, so that is why it's so important. Do not um, shift it, do not ruin it, and keep these uh, normal cycle stages uh, in order to have not just have rest for our organism, but to build practice upon this uh, schedule. And when we are making something wrong, for example, falling asleep too late and etc., we will talk about later. So we can uh, bump into some problems, even knowing techniques, even do it automatically, even uh, having some good motivation, good uh, plan for phase. It could be mental block too. I tried to get into phase with other methods for years and nothing worked. I thought it was impossible, complicated, if only for some people. 
and try to change this thinking. Uh, of course, um, mental blocks also play important part. If you think that that phase practice is not for everyone, so you uh, have less chances to get into it. Uh, the same thing we can say about uh, beliefs in some some astral uh, rope that <laughs> attracts attach us to our physical body. So that is why we prefer to use uh, practical approach because uh, it it helps us to get into phase regular to make less uh, efforts for it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's go on and you see this different method scheme which uh, you are familiar to. It is ideal deferred method uh, scheme, what we, uh, we should uh, we, we should use. <laughs> your sleep for and a half or seven hours and etc i will explain you uh, at the at the end of the webinar how to uh, calculate your right periods of your sleeping before uh, waking up your wakefulness time and for circles hmm? And also, you can see this uh, violet picture. It's a screenshot from, from app. Screenshot from app. You can see that uh, this optimal, quite optimal sleep for face practice looks good. It's, uh, it contains seven and a half hours for uh, the whole sleep. And on this picture, you can see that person <laughs> falls asleep uh, quite okay it's uh, just 16 minutes after midnight then quite uh, normally have deep sleep phase yes this darker side one second third fourth and this is all happening uh, in the first half of our uh, night sleep you see Mm -hmm. And only one piece of uh, deep sleep in this case is uh, um, in the morning. And that is good uh, ex example. That is good uh, example of uh, deferred method sleeping. And this uh, optimal sleep we can one can use for deferred method effectively, quite effectively. For example, waking up at five, waking up at five or six, and etc. It depends on it depends on our personal individual um, some peculiarities of organism. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go on. Uh, if you have some questions, you can uh, answer it uh, now. But if I didn't answer some questions, you can duplicate, you can repeat it uh, at the end of the webinar. Uh, we will have some uh, extra time for answering questions and practical advices. So now on this second slide, you can see that Another example <laughs> of optimal sleep for face practice. Mm -hmm. It looks like this first picture. And the picture on the bottom is another example. And this example attempts, but no fades. Um, and then in, the, in that, that night, I tried to to make attempts to get into phase, 
but didn't pay attention to sleep quality, didn't pay attention to uh, stress uh, before falling asleep or relaxing enough to fall asleep. And that is the result. You, you see that, that is the result. Uh, the orange lines, it's a uh, time of uh, being awake. And this light violet periods is not deep sleep, it's so-called light sleep. Light sleep when we um, don't have enough rest for our organism. So you can see that only 26 minutes of deep sleep I had. That is why uh, attempts on in this night, in that night, um, didn't make any sense. And that was, uh, as far as I remember, something that I felt, I felt uh, sleepy too much. I felt sleepy too much to make attempts even. And I realized that I need to, um, to fix my sleep, not today. I decided it after being awake for some time, but and I decided that uh, that's not a good uh, night for making attempts because I felt not good because of uh, lack of lack of deep sleep. Mm -hmm. Stressful night, <laughs> yes, quite stressful. I didn't uh, remember what was before it during the day but something i suppose stressful and yes i remember it that was um laying in bed uh, in dark room just trying to fall asleep with a smartphone smartphone you know if you <laughs> have some such problems i understand you because uh, sometimes we want to uh, check what's going on on our networks what's going on uh, here and there and even we forget about uh, that we're already falling asleep and we need to switch off all the gadgets do you try to analyze that sleep graph right at the night of the attempts or did you do the attempts failed and then checked the graph sometime later. I checked uh, this graph later, of course, in the morning uh, upon awakening. But in the moment of making attempts, I, I was realizing that I can make attempts, of course. I, I need to do this because it's in my schedule of practice, yes, today. I need to get into phase, so I decided to. But um, in this situation, I realized that yes, of course, I uh, div didn't have good sleep because of my mistakes, of course, as I called as I called it before, as I named it before, and that is why I decided to sleep and to fix my sleep and then go for the first method because you know if you are trying and trying and trying every day or even day after day day after day yes but you don't need uh, you don't pay attention to sleep quality you will have some problems in your practice you will have some um problems in regularity or uh, effectiveness of your attempts even when you do techniques even when you have a motiv motivating plan mm -hmm. is it clear okay and we will go on here are some examples also you see here are some examples of uh, sleep duration and etc look at the uh, picture one i uh, typed the type the name of, uh, of it i name it named it 
So in order to better understand and to analyze this um, night schedule, you can see that falling asleep was quite late. It's quite late and <laughs> almost the whole night was in uh, light sleep. We have just one period of deep sleep here, dark violet. Let's try. Yes. Lack of sleep, deep sleep, no face. Yes, I tried <laughs> at that night, I tried to get into face, to get into lucid dreaming, but didn't succeed. And that is why you see it. Okay, the second, the second picture, deep sleep shift, the day after practice. And here uh, we have some interesting thing that uh, is happening when you are falling asleep later than it, it should be. You see that that was almost 3 a.m. at night. And after that, I didn't succeed to uh, get into deep phase uh, normally. That is why uh, some deep sleep shift happened. You see it, these uh, dark stripes mm -hmm. show that even having seven hours of total sleep, um, it's not good. If I've tried, if I have tried uh, this night for the birth method, you know, because I didn't try it for my practice, but if I have tried it, so I think, I suppose that I would have some problems, you know, upon awakening or upon, upon falling asleep, falling asleep um, faster than, uh, than I need to make attempts or uh, to have awakenings so sleepy that uh, I, I prefer not to use and etc. or even get into phase but have low realism in phase state. Mm -hmm. Or even have some difficulty with separation. Yes, some low realism phase experience. And I noticed that Analyzing it uh, month after month, I noticed that there is some correlation between your sleep well quality and uh, effectiveness. You know, sometimes and um, people ask in projects, students ask me why it's so low realism in face experience, uh, face experience, and I ask. What did you do before for falling asleep? What did you do during the day? Uh, what do you have uh, in case of stressful things or uh, over information, <laughs> extra information before falling asleep and so on? Because it's uh, important for analyzing, for analyzing and fixing mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go on. The third picture, it is called, the third picture, it is called late falling asleep. That was stress, stressful late. You see that uh, orange stripes means being awake three times uh, during the night and having catastrophically, I think catastrophically, uh, a lack of uh, deep sleep for organism. That was uh, the result of being stressful during the day and falling asleep at 2 a.m. You can also, um, I recommend you to use uh, such uh, applications, to use uh, some smart watches or bracelets, uh, fitness bracelets to analyze your practice because it's uh, more effective when you see that today 
you have some, for example, issues with sleep quality, and to analyze what to do to it in order to um, rebuild, rebuild your regular practice. Uh, the, fourth, the fourth picture, you see that, mm -hmm. please uh, type uh, the name of application or gadget you use for it, if you use, mm -hmm. and is it helpful for you? <laughs> do you anal uh, do you uh, do this analyze analyzing of your sleep quality and late falling asleep deep sleep shift and on fourth picture we see that also this is deep sleep shift it is shifted to um, the second half of the night but normally the most the most part of our deep sleep um, should be on the first half of the night. And then after it, we can deprivate our sleep, our REM sleep phase in order to, to make attempts effectively. Mm -hmm. So. And, um, you know, we can uh, deprivate REM sleep phase and we are doing it uh, while uh, practicing deferred method. But we shouldn't do it, uh, we shouldn't deprivate our deep sleep phase because deep sleep phase is even more important uh, for our organism. That is why we uh, are paying so much attention to have enough of it and to have it in the first half of the night and then in REM sleep phase we wake up after for example five hours um, it's individual yes to wake up after five or six hours to have some break and this break needed to be needs to be uh, as enough um, enough for wake your conscious mind to wake you up to wake your mind but uh, not enough <laughs> not enough for being uh, totally awoken uh, for example if you have some problems with falling asleep again, again, you need to uh, decrease. To decrease, is for, to decrease it, uh, for example, till 10 minutes or 15 minutes and be uh, being awake. Or if you have no problems with falling asleep again, you can uh, make this break up to one hour, even up to one hour. But you need to feel it, feel it in your body. When you have uh, um, some sleepy uh, state of your body, when you, fall, want, uh, when you want to fall asleep again and to have uh, extra sleep, that is good. That is good um, thing in this question. Mm -hmm. So it is like balance. Um, it is like balance between uh, ability to fall asleep again and to stay awake in this break in the first method uh, for as longer as possible. For as longer as possible, but <laughs> with opportunity to fall asleep again. What also works for me is to score how awake you are, 10 being most awake, 9 being most sleepy. Wake scale, quite useful. Typically, I notice I have the highest face chances at wake scale, 9, 10, for being most sleep. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, uh, you you need to, to you, you need to have possibility to fall asleep again. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on. Here it is. Mm -hmm. We can draw some conclusions right now, for example, or to, to make some summary, uh, a, a bit of summary of sleep quality topic. First, you need to pay attention um, the time you fall asleep, your state of mind upon uh, falling asleep, because it, uh, it influences uh your sleep duration your sleep quality even have uh, having enough duration seven or eight hours as we saw it uh, in pictures because there there was seven or eight hours of sleep but this seven or even eight even nine hours is not helping at all because of its quality, mm -hmm. because of its quality. And you can um, feel it after waking up finally that you have some lack of energy, for example, and you want to sleep during the day. So that is the markers of uh, your problems, your issues, with sleep quality during the night. Pay attention to it, please. Okay. Let's go on. And here uh, you can see some good sleep tips. There, there are five uh, common general sleep tips. You can see it on your screen. Pay attention to your bedtime uh, routine. Switch off screens. You saw that on one of the examples that when I didn't switch off my gadget and when I was laying in bed reading and hanging in social networks, I had disaster <laughs> instead, of, uh, instead of sleep. And you saw it. Mm -hmm. Disaster. Here it is. Yes, well, here it is, the first. Please uh, make, make pluses or minuses or type your answer when you have some uh, problems with it when you have some habits to lay in bed with your gadgets. It's visible. It's quite visible. And we need to analyze every time what we are doing before sleep, or what we are thinking about, what we are stressing about even. You know, uh, for regular practice, uh, face practice, you it's better. It's, often better to have some good daily routine, even daily routine, when you uh, don't need to uh, have some extra information, unnecessary information, unnecessary uh, stressing emotions, pay attention to, to that also. Because it prevents you from having sleep quality, from having enough deep sleep. Because if our organism didn't, uh, if our organism doesn't have enough deep sleep, it will uh, try to uh, to have it next night and next and next and next, preventing us from any bright dreams or any lucidity. Because the first uh, thing for our bodies is making some rebuild processes during the night, making some uh, hormones um, 
um, physical processes fixed during the night. And then to give uh, us bright <laughs> dreams and face state. I do play games before sleeping, but I keep a blue light filter on it. It helps me relax before getting to bed. Yes, of course, you can uh, use some compromises um, in order to prevent you from, protect you from uh, bright light using gadgets. But I prefer when I know that I need my sleep fixed. I need to have a quality, quality sleep. I prevent myself from using gadgets a lot before sleeping because I know that uh, I will have some uh, shift, shift uh, and problems with deep, having deep sleep. And that's important. Mm -hmm. Take into account your environment using eye mask, using uh, blackout curtains. What do you use uh, usually? Please write. Especially now in spring and summer. Mm -hmm. Sunrise is quite early. That is why we need uh, uh, to use some mask, masks, eyes, or curtains. No food before sleep or have some healthy snack. I think that it's quite uh, uh, un understandable. <laughs> and pay attention, of course, to your quality. To quality of sleep, not only in the night of your deferred method and your attempts but pay attention to quality every night and try to keep your uh, sleep routine sleep uh, optimal effective sleep schedule uh, as possible i cover my eyes with my underwear i should buy eye mask yes it's more helpful to use eye mask. So I want to advise you some technique. When you feel stressed, for example, or you feel uh, sometimes some problems with falling asleep in the evening, uh, I want to show you some technique, how to relax very fast, how to relax effectively and uh, prepare you for falling asleep. And this makes sense because of uh, having having deep sleep phase in the right moment. Okay, now um, sit comfortable or you can uh, even lay in bed as sit comfortable as possible hmm? as comfortable as possible then close your eyes take a deep breath this technique uh, i recommend to use every time falling asleep every time especially when you feel stressed when you feel that you are having too much emotions or having too much thoughts before falling asleep okay take a second deep breath third deep breath feel the air in your lungs Mm -hmm. Just imagine that you are falling asleep. We're training this falling asleep routine. Okay. Do not conquer your thoughts. Let them just flow. 
they're going, going constantly. Okay, that's that's okay. Don't pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. Just feel your body sitting in a chair, comfortable. Mm -hmm. Take deep breath. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now imagine, feel how when you are making breathing, when you are breathing in, you feel your body with energy, you feel yourself with energy. Mm -hmm. And breathing out, you are sending this energy to every part of your body in a row. Left leg, two right leg, relaxing it at the same time. Breathe in, breathe out and relax in your stomach with breathing out. One more, breathe in and breathe out, relaxing your chest at the same time. Okay, you are almost relaxed, almost totally. Now, breathe in one more time, feeling yourself with energy and same the energy with breathing out to your head, to muscles of your face, your face muscles, relaxing it with this energy, feel it, pay attention to your sensations. You can do the second circle, the third circle, circle. every time getting relaxed more and more and falling asleep deeper and deeper. Okay. Breathing energy and breathing out, saying this energy to every part of your body, relaxing it. Once again. Okay. You can take one more deep breath. Mm -hmm. Okay, please uh, write uh, if you if you relaxed with the help of this uh, quite easy, quite simple technique, but very effective. Send pluses if you succeed to relax. Okay, was relaxing, yes. You know that this deep breathing technique um, attracts our mind, our attention to the right direction, to the direction of relaxing. Instead of thinking and 
emotional uh, feelings, some emotions. And it, it is making it quite uh, fast, quite uh, quickly. And that is why you fall asleep effectively with this technique. Mm -hmm. You can uh, use your own uh, techniques. What do you use? And you can share it with, with everybody in chat. I feel extremely warm now in all seriousness. Okay, feeling warm. Is it is it pleasant feeling? Do you suggest to deep breathing before sleep every night, especially before face practice? I do practice this uh, technique when I feel that I want to fix my sleep quality. I want to have enough quality and uh, I feel much stress before falling asleep or I have some thoughts constantly in my head before sleep and preventing from falling asleep. And also uh, with this technique, uh, when I do practice, I use such thing like um, seen images, seen uh, some images, hypnagogia uh, images before falling asleep, because it's quite interesting to observe them. Do you use it? Observing the images and um, after some time, you are falling asleep. Mm -hmm. Does help was just done. Mm -hmm. And the second thing that uh, I wanted to recommend you in this uh, pr practical part is to calculate your uh, sleep, sleep circle. Um, normally, for most of the people, this sleep circle is one and a half hour uh, for example, in this one and a half hour, 90 or 100 minutes, you have all the stages of sleep, non-REM sleep and REM sleep. And this period, uh, you can calculate, you can um, find out exact time by uh, sleeping during the day, for example, try to fall asleep uh, some day uh, during the day and uh, try to um, check the duration of your sleep, waking up without any alarm clock. And that will, that will uh, show you your uh, duration of your sleep stage. Yes? Mm -hmm. You can use it. And then you uh, can find out, for example, that you have sleep, the whole sleep circle uh, around one and a half uh, of hour, half an hour, half an hour and or two hours, maybe if someone has such circle, no, not <laughs> such circle, not two hours, but 90 or 100 minutes. This is the full circle. And this full circle, you can um, multiply, multiply uh, by three or four, and you will know uh, the exact moment of your waking up in deferred method in order to have a break. If you have some questions, maybe we have some uh, extra time left. Have some time left for questions. Maybe something was uh, not quite clear. While discussing, please type your question. 
And once again, I want to uh, point your attention to the fact that you don't need to be upset when you make attempts or you make a deferred method planned uh, during morning uh, and making attempts, making it uh, quite with intention, with uh, will, but you have some uh, sleepy, too, too sleepy feelings, or you feel like um, not wanting to uh, make attempts or not remembering it. Uh, pay attention to your sleep quality because that is uh, that might may be the reason. I'm interested in when you do the sleep without alarm and you measure it. What do you do with the result? Uh, as I said it before, Peter, um, you measure this circle, yes, this duration of your sleep circle, then multiply it uh, by three, four, or five, because it's so individual. For some people, um, for example, when, when one uh, needs less sleep, for example, six hours or seven hours per night, uh, it's enough to multiply, for example, by three or four. And some people, they need to, to have more sleep duration, for example, eight or even nine hours. That is why they need to multiply this um, measured um, time, measured circle, by... Um, four, four or sometimes by five. Mm -hmm. You uh, take this measured uh, half an hour of your circle, of your sleep circle. Mm -hmm. Multiply it, for example, by four, it is and that is uh, your time. That is your time for waking up for the first time in deferred method. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, that would be six hours, about six hours of first sleep, of previous sleep. Then you wake up for having break and um, went back, go back to fall asleep again and make attempts. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Maybe any questions more? Let's check. Ivan writes. So basically, if you want to have a successful phase, it's not to, to check your sleep quality the day before to make sure you had deep sleep early. Yes, exactly. REM sleep late and so you are in perfect condition we try to face. About perfect conditions, uh, you can find out your perfect conditions when you are checking your previous uh, night's quality of sleep and you analyze it and you decide whether you need to uh, sleep today in order to re rebuild your sleep uh, schedule, to re rebuild, refresh your sleep. Or you can uh, use deferred method without any uh, necessary necessity to uh, sleep to fix it to fix your sleep mm -hmm. and if you see your graph from the night before doesn't look good it's better to fix your sleep you're absolutely right for a day or two instead of trying to face yes uh, you see that I gave you uh, different examples because we don't need to have 100 examples. I just chose 
um, some of them, a few examples, but different, in order to see uh, what, how does it happen when you have uh, not enough sleep, when, when you are having stress, or when we're having uh, very good and effective, effective uh, sleep for different methods and it's uh, close to perfect <laughs> perfect normal sleep and such different examples uh, shows, uh, show us um, the difference between our actions between our sleep schedule and how it influences I was uh, I was doing it a bit uh, with intention, you know, because I I didn't try to um, to be exactly in one sleep schedule during these two months because uh, first I had some um, I have some. Uh, Sometimes stressful days. Uh, sometimes I used gadgets, networks, laying in bed, and so on. Some didn't uh, pay attention to do it exactly the right way, uh, in order to see how does it work. And some days I uh, fixed sleep, so I fixed it and made attempts made successful attempts and that is why i can uh, i can say that it's quite important are there any gadgets that actually help enter the phase of course there are some gadgets like uh, sleeping masks uh, special masks uh, which uh, may make uh, some uh, light signals in order uh, for you to wake up during dream during having a dream but it's not effective in uh, as a regular thing you no know? because our organism get acquainted to it, get used to it so it's not so effective and um, Michael said uh, in his webinars and seminars that uh, the most effective way nowadays it's your um, own actions, it's your own practice. Mm -hmm. When you begin thickening cycle. First, uh, upon awakening, we are trying to separate as fast as possible. That is the rule. That is the rule. And every time you wake up, uh, remi remind it. Remember it. Every time you wake up, remember that you are in the right moment. Separate or find yourself in location in some location as far as as possible then <laughs> we circle techniques mm -hmm. and the technique uh, works when it's stuck in working uh, you need to uh, strengthen it to strengthen it to concentrate on it to do it with um, activity actively mm -hmm. Rolling out and so on, levitating. What do you prefer? And when you just feel stuck, there are two ways to to do. For example, the first way when you are feeling that you are almost separating and you feel stuck, uh, concentrate all your will all your intention whenever whatever it takes method <laughs> to separate do it whatever it takes but even if it doesn't work sometimes maybe you do it whenever it takes but you don't have much result 
So uh, try to concentrate on being in location, to imagine you're separated in some loca location and um, try to not separate, but get into image that will come to you. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, I see. Stacking, it's not working at all. When it's uh, when separating, separating, upon awaking, right at the moment, uh, for some reasons stuck at all, uh, you need circle techniques, of course, because techniques um, helping us to to reverse reverse the right moment to get back to get back to the right moment in order to separate after to strengthen phase um, phase moment mm -hmm. and when you felt that you did your uh, you've been doing your techniques so circling techniques one after another during one minute and, and nothing happens. So you need to fall asleep again mm -hmm. with an intention to repeat it. Mm -hmm. Imagine in laying in different position that Imagining in different position. It's quite uh, effective technique. Imagining you are in different position mm -hmm. than you are in reality. It's um, uh, it, it looks and it feels um, like in some uh, aspects like. Um, Imagine yourself in uh, some location, but for some people or in some moments, it's easier to imagine that you are trying to imagine that you are laying in different position to your physical body than to imagine that you are in some location. You should uh, choose the right variant when in the moment. You know, for example, um, I remember the face experience, experience of uh, one student and he told that try to circle techniques, to separate, to roll out, to levitate and etc. but um, didn't succeed in it because because some noise um, and vibrations um, were distracting him. And I explained that this noise and these vibrations that uh, came to you without your intention, you should have used <laughs> to use it, to concentrate on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have to finish our webinar to end. I was uh, glad to see you today. Thank you for attention. I hope that this webinar, webinar was helpful to you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, great stuff. Hope you Okay, glad to know that that was helpful. Thank you. Thank you very much. You also take care. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Have a good days mood. Take care. Yes, you too. <laughs> And remember about exper experiments of uh, Elijah, because, uh, uh, you know, 
experiments uh, in the larger projects, um, they also add uh, a lot of motivation for your face when you're when you, for example, didn't decide what to do. <laughs> you can use a plan to do experiments because they're quite interesting. Yes, not just boring stuff like uh, scientific stuff but quite interesting to do them and also uh, the thing that motivates that that is knowing that your uh, results that you report your experience is not just some experience in your practice but it uh, is input in research. I wish uh, I had, I, I have opportunity to also to do experiments, <laughs> you know, but um, curators of the larger project uh, cannot do that because of uh, rules of research. And we understand that uh, our results is not so uh, will be not so um, will be not so objective <laughs> yes objective objectivity mm -hmm. yes i like reading your results every time it's uh, something that enriches something that enriches my own practice Okay. Does only Michael review all attempts of people? Uh, attempts of people, you mean experiments? Michael, uh, Andre, and me, uh, we can see and analyze, we analyzing and see your experiments, your reports. Mm -hmm. that that's all and it's not shown to anyone else it is also rule mm -hmm. okay so unfortunately <laughs> we have uh, no time left for webinar thank you thank you all and take care goodbye <laughs>